2009 Mac One Works ZX10R. So this is uh, about as fast as you can probably go on the road without having wings and a, and a jet turbine, I think. Um, so ZX10 engine, so from your Kawasaki Ninjas, that sort of stuff. Um, this one, which we'll show you in a second, has had an absolute fortune spending on it when it was built. Willwood brakes all round, gas adjustable shocks all round, or gas adjustable coilovers, sorry, all round. Full roll cage, um, a very well-known brand of turbo conversion. Um, with a full engine rebuild with you know upgraded internals as well so it it is good for about 350 brake on the uh, on the internals i believe it's running about 280 300 at the minute which on something as light as this is well more than enough um let's start by having a good look around it then we'll start it up all that sort of stuff we'll detail everything we know about it in the in the description um but like i say we see quite a lot of kit cars um some come done on a budget and some don't. This is one where I would say it definitely hasn't been done on a budget. I did find the build thread for this car on a forum. Um, and the, the, the guy that built it was saying something like 30 odd thousand pounds he spent on this car. Right, starting on this front corner. You've got Team Dynamic wheels in black, unmarked, lovely and clean. With Willwood four piston brakes on the front there as you can see. And Toyo AAA R's proxies on the on the front so they're the road slicks loads of meat left in those and then you've got this carbon what appears to be carbon wrapped front arch moving inward lovely and clean all powder coated and you've got gas blue top adjustable coilovers there all the uh, all the accessories are black as well to go with sort of wishbones and poly bushed as well as you can see it's in this lovely green color Condition wise, the body works fantastic. There's no real marks that I can note. Even just the exhaust, look at the quality of the exhaust, proper welding on it. It's got this nice touch of Ninja stickers on it. Obviously it's a Ninja color as well, I believe. Lovely and clean on this driver's side. You've got a very light scratch on the bonnet there, which you might just be able to see. And then coming down this side, that exhaust, lovely and clean. Roll cage again, powder coated black, proper bit of kit. Something this kind of powerful, this small, this light, it's definitely something you're going to want. It does have pads on the driver's side and passenger side just to protect you a little bit. And then rear arches again, gloss black, lovely and clean as you can see. No real wear or marks on those. And another set of Team Dynamics, Proxy Triple R8 uh, Toyo tyres and four pot Willwoods on this side, on, on the rear as well. So they're, they're four, four pots all around. Uh, and again, if I get the camera in there, you can see it does have gas suspension on there as well so it's gas all round willwood all round tire proxies all round coming around on the back we've got nice clear lights on both sides uh your fuel tanks in here you've got your sort of filler neck and everything there all lockable we've got the key and everything for that all nice and clean around that area same on this rear arch there's no real marks i mean even if you go down below it's got a sort of little diffuser on the back end lovely and clean and tidy it's not been abused this thing but again, if you spend this kind of money and time building it, you're not going to go and mistreat it, eh? Uh, again, another Team Dynamic, unmarked, lovely and clean. Tyres are all very good condition. Coming down this side again, lovely and clean and tidy. It's not really any marks to note. And then the final front wheel, same setup. Loads of meat left on the tyres. In this section, it's all nice and clean. There's no stone chips. Nothing on the front edge or anything at all. Really, really nice. And you've got these two carbon intakes going into your intercooler, which is nice. Interior-wise, um, I believe these are so the composite seats, um, and I believe they're made by Mac One. Say about harnesses, they are what look to be three-point harnesses on both sides, matching harnesses. Um, and then ignition-wise, get that fuel pump there. Fire that up, I believe. We'll start it up. It does show you the mileage on there, but it's, it's hundreds, not thousands. Lovely and clean in here. It's not how the seat's getting standed on or stood on, sorry, or trampled or anything like that. It's got this really good rear view mirror and side mirrors. Normally you, you, they do without them on kick cars, but that's really useful for when you're going along. Lovely and clean on the passenger side. All around that firewall, that's all nice and tidy. Again, it's not how people clambering in and out and kicking it to death. 
all your buttons are in the center there so for your fogs your headlights um horn hazards engine start all that sort of stuff in one place and obviously sequential six-speed gearbox um but it does have the quick shift kit so that means obviously with basically being a bike gearbox you can pull away using the clutch um, and then once you're away you don't actually need to use the clutch if you don't want to you just use it like a sequential so forward for up backwards for down um, it will rev match on the downshift all that sort of stuff so you can go on like your heel and toe in a formula one driver when really it's doing it for you we'll undo this bonnet cover or engine cover and again even just down to this i'll show you when we lift it up it's got this lovely bit of aluminium on the back side just so it sits nice and level sits properly on the on, on the nose right so in here you've got that zx 10r engine and then it's been and used this kit so big cc hybrid turbo systems everywhere you look there's a brand name teal draper even the uh all the fixtures are brand name everywhere you look lovely and clean in here proper race spec battery all the right serial numbers as you would expect absolute monster this thing right we'll start it up so it's just a case of ignition on you'll hear that fuel pump kicking in hit the button straight away nothing nasty flying out the exhaust online of the engine rebuild all that sort of stuff um, so there you have it a mach 1 zx 10 r turbo if you've got any questions at all please let us know if you want to come and have a look at it we're open every day apart from a sunday let us know if we can if you can't get to come and view it again give us a shout we can do video calls send you extra photos or videos or whatever you might need if you check the description we'll detail everything we know about the car as well thank you